It is Friday. Finally, right? Finally. <laughs> Golly, two boxes is gone. We have been selling stuff this week right. just to sell it, I guess. Um, the toolbox was planned. We knew it was going to be um, delivered. Uh, the rest of the stuff, we had no idea. <laughs> now, with that being said, uh, it's a good thing because we have a meeting this weekend and then we got next month, we got Expo. So if we're going to sell down on inventory, now's the best time to do it. There you um, go. Pretty much, if, if you're going to buy it, it's snooze or lose at this time of year. So. <laughs> Well, y'all have went through it, cause man, this thing usually you can't even see the carpet, but you can see a little bit now. Every well, now and, and we did an inventory, so um, it's going to be interesting to see tonight when I close out the inventory difference, because um, it wasn't like this at the beginning of the week. So, um, of course, Leslie's not here, but she can tell you when you've got to count every single thing on this truck. Oh yeah. You probably wish it was a little lower. <laughs> um, we have to count everything on the ceiling, everything on the, the you know, all the sockets and stuff. So probably would have been nice to have it that way the week of Christmas or the week of New Year when we took off, but it wasn't. So okay. that's all right. That happens. I'm not going to tell nobody no when they want to buy something. No, I uh, wouldn't either. Especially I'm, when I was in the business to sell stuff. Well, you know, and yesterday alone I had three people. Uh, I stopped to eat. Uh, and somebody pulled up and said, hey, can I buy something from you? And sure, you know, never met this guy, just passing through town. Uh, and then I had it at a couple more shops where somebody just hopped on and was like, hey, care if I buy something? It's like, oh, go cool. ahead, <laughs> find whatever <laughs> you want, to, you know? Man. So uh, that yeah. contributes, you know, uh, to a good day. So yesterday was a good day. But yeah. That's all right, I kept two things to show y'all. Sweet, something new. Yeah, it is Coast Lots. Um, everybody likes the lights. I don't know what it is about the lights, but if there's going to be something new and it's a light, people like it. So yeah. I'm fine with that. I think Snap-on has a new light every single week, it seems like. I'm starting to think we do. Yeah. But that's okay because they sell quick. People like them. Um, this one kind of looks like the bear claw to me, but it's not. Um, okay. It's by Coast. They call it the clamp light. So I got a good long charger there. That would work great for a cell phone too. Um, but it's got your clamp. It does fold a couple different ways. Has that swivel ball there. I like the fact that they put a good heavy duty swivel ball there. Yeah. Um, so when we clip this on, it's gonna have a good base, good sturdy uh, swivel there. They also got moving uh, attachments there. That way if the surface you're attaching to may be rounded. Right. It, if it's not perfectly flat, it's gonna, it's gonna contour to it. Uh, it also has a spot for your bars or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I would feel safe clamping this onto a hood or a fender or something. I'm normally a little leery of that, but it does have the protection coating mm -hmm. there. Uh, and it does stick out past the point to where this Can't hard plastic is not yeah. going to hit it. So that's cool. Of course, it is the um, LED, so it is going to be bright. A uh, couple different settings. I'll show, see if I can't show you all the box that way. Um, that's the box, 1,750 lumens, wide angle uh, flood beam. Of course, it does have a magnet, a magnet on it. And mm. One, two, three, four. Um, it does have a spot here to where it can just sit over there. Good bright light, and I mean it's several different options there. That's so cool. a good light there. That's bright, 1,750 lumens. That is bright. And you know, uh, what I've noticed is they're getting brighter and brighter. Every light that they come out seems like they're trying to get brighter oh, and brighter yeah. and brighter. I'm fine with that. I don't have a problem with that. Somebody will gripe about it, but that's okay. Got to give somebody something to gripe about. That's definitely right. The next light, real you know, skinny light, but due to the way that it's made, I think it'll be durable. Um, Obviously, with it being new, I haven't sold a whole lot of them. Mm -hmm. I had a couple, sold a couple this week. I wanted to put these back. It does have a light up top. It seems like now, if you're going to have a bar light and it don't have a yeah, light at the top, at the top. <laughs> uh, something's wrong. Try not to bond everybody with that. But you can see, that's a good, nice, bright light. And then it goes right back off. It does have the hook. That's important for a bar light. Everybody yeah. wants that hook. 
and then we have the magnet there as well this one I don't know why it has it but it has it it has a um, rotor, rotor there yeah. um, in the car industry that's not just a huge deal but you got you got to think coast don't make just for the, mm. the car industry they make for everybody so I'll show you the box on it too you have 850 lumens it is rechargeable I think that's pretty important everybody wants a rechargeable almost nobody wants a battery yeah. uh, even my stream lights everybody's kind of putting the double a stream lights back and grabbing the rechargeable mm -hmm. ones I get it I do that's the box so if you're trying to get your dealer to look one up for you um, in Maco at least if you're signed up for the new product pipeline it'll be sent out to you uh, I like to stay signed up for that just because I want all the new stuff as new soon as I can get cool. it that's what everybody what's the main thing probably everybody that comes on here probably says what's new uh, it's what's new and then followed by you got any repo or what's on sale uh, yep <laughs> yes yeah. 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 oh, sure. uh, did you get any of the green nipex sold or did you sell them all i've or? sold them all um i was kind of worried about the price point on them mm -hmm. um, but the fact that they were green everybody really liked them uh i wish the handle uh would have been the same as the red one but yeah. green that's the only reason i didn't buy them that day but was because of the slick handles but so. that's okay um they sold good mm -hmm. i guess everybody's cup of tea is different yeah so I uh, probably should have ordered more. I say that every time, but <laughs> we've also been showing people, this was like a, these were in a flyer. This was kind of a hidden sale that I didn't know about. Um, oh yeah. The it was a nine piece strips. locking uh, plier set. Comes with a bag and a hoodie. But this one actually comes with a good variety of pliers. So I ordered four of these, I'm down to one. Uh, it'll probably be gone by the end of the day, but just a good plier set there. I think I bought the set that was in the on sale that time. It was green, had the little green button on them. Yeah. So. I think we've done it in orange and green a couple of times. We did it in a couple of different berries. We've done it the locking pliers. We've done it the regular uh, pliers. We've mm -hmm. done it a couple of different ways. They always sell good when you throw some in a bag. Yeah. Um, I think the beanie is just a plus. Um, but yeah, they sell good. Speaking of colors, uh, I saw at the meeting this weekend that they're going to have some type of blue bundle. Uh, I think it's going to be uh, Air Tool or something. I can't really remember what it was. I'm interested to see what kind of bundle that's going to be. So, cool. um, now everybody's meetings at a different time and got different stuff. So, but I did see where they was going to have some type of blue bundle. So I'm interested to see on what they have in that. So. Yeah. So what's your thoughts on these? Do you think these are better than the magnetic ones that y'all had? Just uh, like the one the cans stuck up there on? Uh, well, my honest opinion, I like them a lot, but I have a lot of people buy these for their gun clip, their guns. They yeah. use these for their gun. You know, Vim makes one for a gun. Yeah. It's got the rubber cover on it. It's the concealed hair carry. Well, I probably need to get them on oh, here dude, that's the number one reason people buy those. They're awesome. It's got like a black rubber piece that like it's flat instead of curved like this one, right? Yeah. Let's see if I get my camera to focus. So it's flat instead of having that curve in it. And then it's got a, a full rubber containment around it. Yeah. And when they ship it to you, it comes with 3M tape and the screws and anchors, all that stuff so you can screw it up to whatever you want to. But yeah, yeah, it's, it's well, that's where it's at right there. I need to get a couple of those on here. I haven't really sold a whole lot um, of either one of them for cans. They've always got a different um, mm -hmm. use for it, but I mean, I don't care how they use it. Just I was worried about these with the magnets pulling out because and, and it may be different now, but you remember when they first started coming out with those real strong magnets? You oh, had yeah. lights, and they'd pull out the bottom of them. Yeah. And I was always a little leery of that with a plastic. Yeah. I, you know, I didn't I didn't really think about that, but uh, I haven't sold a whole lot of them, so I guess I really can't say a whole lot. Because you ain't going to pull the magnets out of that one. No, <laughs> no. Those are actually... How they coming out right there? Well, and there's a good reason that it's not. Whereas these up here are kind of... Well, i got to find a right there looks good these here are actually slid in yeah so you're not pulling that out from there ain't so. out. kind of a unique design on both of them but yeah uh 
a lot of people just throw their cans in the top of their toolbox or on, sit it on top of their box. So mm -hmm. I don't know. You'll have your organization uh, freaks out there that want them, uh, but I keep them on here just in case somebody does. I usually sell one or two of them and yeah. move on. But like I said, I sell a bunch of the bar ones for the guns and stuff like mm -hmm. that. I know those little magnetic jars. I like them too, just for putting loose stuff in yep. and screws and. That's you know, it's the, nice because it sticks up in your locker. It's out of the way. Yep. You know. I've heard some interesting stories of what can be hid in those and hid in the top of a macro toolbox. Um, <laughs> apparently, if you stick it in there and stick it towards the back, you still open the drawer and nobody knows it's even in there. Wow, that's pretty uh, cool. But my use would be like you. I'd use yeah. it for the jobs to where um, you're tearing it down for an inspector or something like that. And you're going to be waiting mm -hmm. for a while. Instead of just throwing the, the loose bolts and screws or something in a drawer or something, kind of keep it a little bit more contained. That way they're not lost. All right, guys. We're filming the new coast line. Got a poker. Wait.